Hi guys, welcome back to another part of Kolchaba tutorial. Today I am going to explain what are the functions in Java and types of functions in Java with a complete working example. So here I am going to create a program that demonstrates the functions and types of functions in Java. So I create a class called uh, functions type I just create a class called uh, functions type here is the main method Here is the comma line arguments. Here is the opening up of main method. Okay, first I demonstrate a function that contain both return type and argument. So in this class here a main method is a function. Now I create another function that demonstrate A function with the return type and argument. So I create a function called a public int sum. Here there are two arguments int s comma int y. Okay, this is a function that demonstrate that contain both argument and return type. So here I declare another variable called uh, in the result is equal to zero. Now I find out the result. Result is equal to x plus y. Okay. Now I have to return the result because it is a function with the return type. Return result. okay now I have to call the function now I am going to call the function from the main method so here I create a variable called int sum sum result is equal to here I call the function sum uh, before call the function I have to declare two variable so in order to use the two variable I have to create an object of buffer reader P -U -F -F -E -R, buffered reader br is equal to new new input stream reader new input stream reader system dot in I just create an object of buffer reader class here using input stream reader so I have to import some package import import system dot io dot star I just import a package it's not system this Java dot io dot sharp okay now I just now I am going to declare two variable int a comma b 
now I am going to ask for two variable system dot out dot print to ln enter two and numbers for addition I just saved numbers into A and B A is equal to B R dot uh, read the line now it is an integer so I have to pass it into integer integer dot pass int okay also I have to get value for B also so here it is B now I have to call the function sum for getting result so here is a return type is present it is an integer that's why I here declare a variable called uh, in the sum result is equal to sum we pass the two values of a and b to the function sum whenever run the program whenever we call the function sum a comma b the values of a and b is sending from here these arguments are called uh, actual arguments because these are the sending arguments and the arguments that catch the value here the variables are x and y are called uh, formal arguments a formal argument is generally present on the function declaration and actual arguments are present on function calling here is the function calling now I have to print the result out dot print ln sum is equal to plus sum result also I have to here I using the buffer reader object so I have to throw an exception here throws io exception throws io exception now I am going to save the program in d drive in programs functions here the class name is functions type functions type dot java save us all files now I am going to compile the program java c functions type dot java some others are present here you cannot find symbol system this capital S I save the program also another hundred error percent non static method cannot be referred from a static context here this public into sum into s comma into y sum a comma b now again I compile the program non static method sum is a non static method cannot be referred from a static context so I make it as static because main method is a static function 
now I have to compile the program now there is no error present now I have to run the program java functions type enter two numbers for addition I enter 4 and 5 here is sum is equal to 9 ok guys here this is an example for function that contain both return type and argument here you can see in the main method I getting two numbers a and b and for finding the function for finding the sum I just call the function that declare outside of the main method this is a function that finding the sum here I just pass the value of a and b to x and y value of a is getting to x get the value of a and y get the value of b and here I declare here is a local variable called the result and in result I find out the sum and finally this function will return the result and the uh, return value is getting actually whenever this function is called uh, and the function is return a value and that value is get into this variable called uh, sum result and finally I just print out the value of result ok guys in the next part we are going to discuss about uh, another classification here I just I just demonstrate only one classification of function in the next part uh, by using this example I explain another classifications of function thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for getting for getting further video updates see you in the next part